We lived in Mexico for nine months. What was that like? Basically fly into the Cabo San Lucas Airport and drive north. We lived in three different locations, Los Brailas, La Ventana, and La Paz. Maybe our favorite location, Los Brailas, is a quiet beach town, probably much like Cabo San Lucas was, say, 50 years ago. So you're right on the beach, uh, it's, it's relaxed, low-paced lifestyle, has an excellent beach right off the town. Very steep break off that beach when we were there anyway, which allows for many cool experiences, whether it be fishing off the beach, swimming, viewing wildlife, whether it be dolphins or stingrays, turtles. The relaxed food scene in Little Gorillas was enjoyable to us. There were outdoor food trucks, Last food stand setups available and we ate there often. The best way for us to get around was quad. You could basically go anywhere you wanted in the town within five minutes. The grocery store, the water shop, beach. Oftentimes in the evening, you know, we go down to the beach five minutes and you're there. It's nice and flat and wide open. Zoom down there with your fishing rod, throw a few casts, catch a sunset. It was a nice, relaxed lifestyle on the beach in Mongrela. La Ventana is another town that we've lived in along the coast, the Sea of Cortez and the Baja. And like Los Barrelas, this town is relaxed. It's right along the beach. Lori was able to find us excellent accommodations, just a couple minute walk from the beach in a condo complex that was really comfortable. Beautiful pool right outside. Ended up swimming in that pool quite a bit to stay active. It was excellent balconies to take in sunsets. Enjoy a cocktail or something to eat together. Spend lots of time down at the beach. Sometimes we fish, sometimes we swim, walk the beach, catch a sunset. You know, the normal stuff you do to stay relaxed. We also lived for quite some time in or just outside the capital city of the Baja being La Paz. We lived in a suburb called Comitán. It was maybe eight or ten different dirt streets, quiet little community. In La Paz, there's uh, one of our favorite places to eat in all of the Baja, and it's called Taco Fish La Paz. We were introduced uh, to this place by a friend, and we've since returned numerous times, no matter where we're living in the Baja, we will drive in. Coincidentally, La Paz is also home to our favorite coffee roaster and maker. It's like a hole in the wall. Don't even know the name of it. We can point you in the right direction if you're in La Paz looking for good coffee. A spot worth mentioning in this area, uh, sort of between all three of the locations that I've already mentioned, is a place called El Triunfo, which is in the mountains as you pass between, let's say, La Paz and Los Barillas or Ventana. 
quite a cool little town. Has several very unique things. Uh, there's been some revitalization happening there, some good restaurants and cafes. They have a really cool piano museum that we toured where we had a chance to jump on the piano and tickle the ivories a little bit. Alright, in seriousness, she was a professional piano player, relocated to Cabo and she put on a concert for us. Very impressive, didn't expect that. Some things that all three of these locations had in common to them, which made it quite enjoyable for us, was there was a component of beach life involved. So whether it be five minutes away from where you're living in Los Barriles or La Montana, or you know, 20 minutes to an hour and a half drive from La Paz, you're at the ocean and at the beach. And um, these beaches were very enjoyable, relaxing. Living in Los Barriles, like I mentioned before, was very friendly for aquatic lifestyle. We could go on for the aquatic tours for the day up the Arroyos, uh, which is basically a riverbed, sometimes has water in it. We could go to the beach to and from whenever we wanted, or even up and down the beach. We could go out for dinner. Basically everything was done on the quad, and that was a nice, simple, economical, fun way to get around the beach town. You know, because the cost of living was noticeably lower than Canada, it gave us the opportunity to go out to eat more often than we would normally do back home. You know, take my girl out for dinner more often. Maybe sing her a song. You know, another thing that we were able to save money on was uh, dental procedures. So we took advantage of the price difference and come to find out the dentists in Mexico quite excellent. We can definitely recommend it. As I mentioned before, fishing was something available to enjoy and we definitely did that. Off the beach at times, hired a guide and fished from a boat. Uh, for many days other times. We found this to be so enjoyable. Our guide was excellent. We used the same guide every time. The pricing was reasonable. Uh, even my dad came down and uh, joined us a couple of times. Was able to fish with a few different friends. I also get the fly rods out. Had a good time. We definitely got here. We could talk more about several items that we were pleasantly surprised with in Mexico, but we'll just touch on them here. Like the amount and species of exotic birds we saw while we were there. Like how safe we felt. Like how we found the local people to be open and kind. Guys, if you like these videos and what we're talking about, go ahead and press the like button and subscribe to our channel. This is Plan Free. We'll see you in the next location. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. All right, so obviously going to do this video in English because my Spanish isn't that great. Lo siento, mi español no perfecto, mi esposa habla mejor para mí. So that's about all I know, and so we'll just end it with that.